So my name's John Culshaw, I'm an artist from Liverpool and I've, uh, I've been hired by Mandela Rates to paint a massive mural of Nelson Mandela on the building behind me. So day one, I came on site and I got me a, I got my grid on the wall and I got my pencil lines, sort of my first lines on. Day two, I started with the green, which I'm massively underestimated. <laughs> I thought I thought I'll spend the day on that. And it'll take like three or four days just, just painting the green and the grey, you know, I was getting the base layers on. So by the time that was finished, we were on day four. Day four I finally started with the artwork. And so the, the pencil lines went, went really well, so I could sort of see just how it was going to look already. And to be honest, the artwork was sort of a, I wouldn't say the easy part, but the artwork was the bit that I was most comfortable with yeah. out of the whole day. So day four, day five, day six was the artwork. And then day seven, I had to come and put the, uh, the writing on, which for me was the most difficult part. It's, it's the bit that I'm most uneasy with. I don't like putting text on things, but I, uh, I had to go, I went away, I made some stencils. They blew away in the wind, <laughs> all riffs. So it was down to just doing it by hand and, and trying to make it as neat as I could, and which I'm quite happy with. For me, that's a lot neater than I usually wear. We, we'd seen all the, 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 you know, the sketches and stuff of what John had done, the ideas. But until you, until you see it done, it, I mean, even still, like, I've, I've, you know, I've just come back around, I've just come around the corner and looked at it again and again, it just takes you kind of jaw dropping in it, you know what I mean? So, I mean, from my point of view, I just think it's just, um, it's just fantastic, it's exceptional, exceptional piece of work from John. I mean, I've seen a lot, all, most of his work now, do you know what I mean? I can't say one's better than the other, but all I can say for this piece of work, unbelievable. <laughs> so I think we chose the building because it's a landmark building in the community. It's on a major gateway into and out of the city centre. And it's important that our history is recognised as part of that. And Mandela and the relationship with our campaign and for anti-apartheid as a community were integral to that and Princes Avenue in particular was key to that whole programme and priorities that we support. So I think for me it was it was a no-brainer that we do this and that we do it for Mandela because he's a world leader, uh, one of the greatest world leaders of his time. And so for us it was really important that we were representing hope and positivity in our community and the message in the quote is about giving people hope and aspiration and you know education is the most powerful weapon to change the world and maybe more people need to be more minded on uh, love not hate. The project's been fantastic I've been really really happy with it the feedback from it's been amazing and the community from start to finish even while while we while we were going on even in the early stage and you couldn't really see what it was yeah. I've just been so happy and so so nice about it it's been really really good it does many things it does a lot of things for the community and I, and I think actually it does it does a lot of things for the city as well do you know what I mean I think this not just our community this now belongs to the city 